Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and you are listening to Subhash Chandran. In this video, we are going to discuss about where we can find more piping jobs, which place and which country. So basically, we are going to check the number of countries which are available for piping opportunities. So let's get started. Let's see the agenda of this video. First, we will start with the Indian cities for piping jobs. And second, I will list down the countries that you have to avoid going for piping jobs. And third, I will tell you the best countries outside India where you can make an excellent piping career. And before that, I just have a small announcement. I have created an another channel where I started putting uh, contents which are pertaining to career making. These videos will help you for better career making. Please watch this video. If you like this video, you can subscribe only if you feel worthy actually. Now let's get started. And before going to the video, if you are a new viewer and not subscribed to my channel, please give me a subscription because that gives me an excitement and motivation. So let's get started actually. Let's start with Indian cities. These are the top Indian cities where you can find more piping opportunities. But here we are going to rate down the cities with respect to three factors, income, opportunities and monthly expenses. So here I will rate between 1 to 10 so that it will help you to understand which city is best. So the reason for picking up these three factors are there is a relation between these three factors. Let's take an example income. Income is the amount that you are going to take home. Imagine if your income is high and your monthly expenses is also high which means your saving is low. So which is more or less equal to taking a low income with low monthly expenses. And opportunities. When it comes to opportunities, we have to see whether we have multiple opportunities or we only have fewer opportunities. Because if you don't have multiple opportunities, then you have to move from one place to another place, which is actually expensive. That is one of the reason why I thought these three factors are actually relevant. And please note that the figure and evaluation shown in this materials are derived based on my personal research and assumption. Hence, it does not need to reflect the actual situation on the ground. At times, my evaluation could be wrong as well. So please do your checks before making any decision in your personal life. Do not blindly follow my content. Let's start with the first city. The first city that I would like to start with is Vadodara, which is a place in Gujarat. Let's see the ratings. So we have for income, we have six and for opportunities, we have four and monthly expenses, we have five. Let's uh, explain this in a little more uh, and more understandable way, actually. So let's consider the number five as an average between one to ten. So when we say the number six, which means that the salaries are above average. Say for an example, if five lakhs is the average salary of the piping engineers in Vadodara, you will be getting 5.5 lakhs or six lakhs. So that is what it in indicates. But this doesn't uh, indicate that this, uh, this city is offering much higher salary like 8 lakhs or 9 lakhs. So this is uh, just a little bit above salary than the average because we have considered number 5 as an average. And the opportunities are fewer because the number of companies are very less. I think except LNT groups, other engineering companies are outside Vadodara. So, but I strongly believe that most of the LNT engineering facilities are inside Vadodara. So if you are looking for an opportunity in LNT, then Vadodara is the right place. And for monthly expenses, it seems to be affordable within the range. The expenses uh, is not uh, uh, appears to be very high actually. So the living cost is really uh, manageable in Vadodara. Now let's go to the next city. The next city is Hyderabad, which is a place in Telangana. And let's see the ratings actually. The income is above average and opportunities are above average compared to Vadodara. The here, the number of companies are higher. So you can shift job from one company to another company. And the monthly expenses also uh, seems to be little higher than Vadodara because Hyderabad is such a place that the expenses are little higher than Vadodara. So that is what these numbers are indicating. So if you are planning for your piping career, you can choose uh, the cities based on these factors. Now let's go to the another city, which is a Bangalore, which has a lot of opportunities for piping and which is located in Karnataka. Let's say the, let's see the income uh, rating. Income rating is above average. As I said, it's just above average. Though you have a lot of uh, opportunities, the income is still above average only because that is the standard practice in Bangalore. And uh, the opportunities, when it comes to opportunity, the number of companies are too high. So it will really help you if you are a person who wanted to shift from one job to an another job. And the monthly expenses are too high so that we have to accept because the expenses in Bangalore are too high uh, because of traffic. You have to have your own vehicle. So there are other lots of other reasons why the expenses are too high actually. But Bangalore is generally a good city for living and you can have a lot of fun. It is really good to good city for to pass uh, time. So there is no doubt about it. 
Now let's go to the other city. It is Chennai and which is located in Tamil Nadu. Let's see the rating actually. The income uh, rating is too low in Chennai because most of the companies are um, offering salaries which are much lesser than the industrial average uh, package. So if you are going to Chennai, then you have to consider this factor because the salary will be really less actually. But when it comes to opportunities, the opportunities are more because there are uh, lots of top engineering companies are there like Technip, Saipam, uh, McDermott. You have top engineering companies. You can really have a lot of options for your career making. But when it comes to monthly expenses, you can see that uh, Chennai monthly expenses are really, really low compared to the other cities. So you can decide according to your uh, like uh, whether you are interested in taking more income or with less expense, because ultimately at the end of the day, we have to have savings. If you don't have savings, then there is no point of getting in high income and spending more actually. So this is the point that I wanted to uh, convey over here through this video. Now let's go to the other city. The other city is Kolkata which is located in West Bengal and here also you can see the income is above average and you have uh, opportunities also above average and the monthly expenses are, uh, are actually affordable because it's not above five no so uh, it is affordable so it seems to be uh, quite good because you have opportunities income and as well as you have low monthly expenses now let's go to the other city it is Mumbai which is located in Maharashtra which is one of the top city in India actually Let's see the rating actually. The income rate in Mumbai is too high. So if you're looking for a higher income, then uh, you can definitely prefer uh, Mumbai is your uh, best place actually for working. And opportunity is also too high because the number of companies are too huge. So you will be able to get a lot of opportunities in Mumbai, especially piping I'm saying. Now, this figure is only indicates uh, the piping opportunities. When it comes to monthly expenses, uh, yes, we have to admit the fact that Mumbai has a uh, high monthly expenses. The cost of living is too high because right from rent and affordability, everything is too high actually. But you provided you get more income. So this will reflect in your salary slip and this is this will definitely add a value to your uh, career making and you have lots of opportunities as well. So this is the fact of uh, Mumbai. And now let's go to the other city, which is Delhi. Delhi is an uh, Indian capital city. We all know that. And the income, you can see the all the ratings are about 10, which means you can you really ha can have a high income and you will have a lot of opportunities. At the same time, the monthly expenses are too high. So this is the real factor. So basically, fundamentally, if you move from south to n north, actually, the salary uh, structures are actually increasing. So uh, in Delhi, uh, uh, in general, the most of the companies offer a very good salary, though you are in contract or per permanent and your salary will be too high compared to the salaries that are offered in south. So this is one of the very important thing that I wanted to uh, convey through this video. So you can choose out wisely. You can make your decision according to these three factors. Now let's go to the next topic, which is the countries that you have to avoid. The first country that you have to avoid is Africa. Africa is the country, it's a wonderful country for um, like with uh, lots of greeneries and uh, good people. Those are all fine actually, but due to uh, certain factors like unstable uh, political scenarios and uh, the ground level situations are totally um, restless, there are, there will be a lot of rift between uh, the multiple parties. So uh, Africa is one such place that you have to avoid uh, for going for a piping jobs because I know that there are lots of opportunities are coming out of uh, Africa, but it's highly risky actually. You, we can't give our life uh, just to save money. So please uh, don't uh, prefer Africa as your uh, choice of uh, career. And the next uh, place that is uh, that you should avoid is Yemen. Yemen is actually located uh, right below Saudi and uh, and Oman. Yemen is also uh, going through a tough time, uh, though the country is a good country, but due to the political scenarios and there is a war. So it's really uh, better to avoid these countries, actually. And the another country that I would like to um, share is Syria and Iraq. So I don't have to tell you that Syria and Iraq are always, I, I mean, uh, they are already going through a tough time. So it's uh, more of like a war zone only. So though some companies are offering good salary, it is better to avoid because we have to save. We have to be alive to make money. So we can't uh, just um, uh, take it for granted just because that we have to save money. That doesn't work in that way. Actually, you have to be uh, really cautious in taking your decision. Because going to these countries, it is more or less like a trap. Actually, you may not know whether you'll be able to survive for one month or two months or three months. 
so it can happen in any day so better avoid these countries because we always have a lot of opportunities even in india or outside india we have a lot of other choices i mean now let's see the countries that you can pursue piping career so let's start with the asian countries in asian countries i would strongly say singapore and malaysia are the top countries where you can really make a wonderful piping career so let's look at the rating income is above average above world average and opportunities are also above average and monthly expenses are also above average this is one of the biggest disadvantages because uh, the really the uh, living cost in malaysia and singapore are too high so this is one of the reason people avoid it because you can't save more money but at the same time if you want to stay for a longer period of time you can consider this factor you can really have a wonderful opportunities and your income is also above average now let's go to the other countries uh, the other two countries are thailand and philippines which is also the beautiful countries and good for piping career and which is offering the salary which is actually average salary i mean average uh, compared to the world average and opportunities are also uh, average and monthly expenses are too low but here the one of the disadvantages is that the most of the opportunities are goes to the local uh, people uh, but uh, provided uh, since uh, the local people do not have much more potential for piping engineering they, the people from outside the, uh, the outside these countries are also taken for job so that is one of the reason why i was uh, i just wanted to uh, share this information so you can consider apart from these figures actually the thailand and philippines are most beautiful country for to spend time now let's go to the middle east countries actually in middle east uh, we have five countries five countries which are uh, saudi arabia qatar and uh, kuwait and oman and uae so these are the top five countries you can make a great career in piping and i won't uh, recommend any other countries other than these uh, top five countries because these uh, top uh, five countries are the uh, countries where you have huge oil resources and huge refineries and productions are going on so these are the countries i would strongly prefer for piping career so let's see what is uh, saudi arabia is offering saudi arabia salaries are above average and you have a lot of opportunities and the monthly expenses are too low and qatar you have very high income but opportunities are fewer but monthly expenses are too high and in kuwait the income is really really high and opportunities are also above average and monthly expenses are slightly lesser than qatar and for oman income is slightly lesser actually when compared to the standard if you compare with the saudi the it is slightly lesser uh, but it is above average and opportunities are fewer because most of the opportunities goes to the locals actually so right now uh, the situations are so that opportunities are uh, uh, just booming up maybe in future we can expect more opportunities for expats and the monthly expenses are also not high now let's go to the other country uae uae is known for united arab emirates let's see the income income is uh, better than oman and uh, opportunities are also better than oman and monthly expenses are too high actually so based on this figures you can choose which one is uh, your choice because we have to evaluate uh, these factors if you are as i said in the beginning of this video if you are really concerned about the income you should also check your monthly expenses taking a high monthly uh, income and uh, spending more it's not a good idea uh, if you can look look at this figure actually your monthly income is 7 but your expenses are too high but having said lot of people are still saying that is because they are getting other benefits such as education medical and the kind of living that they don't want to miss actually so these are the other factors that you have to consider if you are really concerned about making your career in uh, uh, middle east actually now let's go to the other countries other countries are western countries so what are the best western countries for piping exclusively for piping i am not talking about other mechanical engineering fields or it actually this video is exclusively for piping engineers so in western countries uh, according to me uk has more opportunities norway and canada and usa these are the countries which has more uh, job opportunities for uh, piping uh, engineers now look at the figure actually uk has a very high income standard and opportunities are also very high and monthly expenses are too high and norway is also one of the wonderful country and the income is actually high and the opportunities are also high actually and the monthly expenses are also high so in canada you can check these figures and usa you can check these figures so according to this list and usa has a better income and better opportunity and the monthly expenses are uh, really slightly lesser than uk but still it is high actually 
So based on these uh, figures, you can decide where you wanted to actually pursue. But to get into these countries, we have certain restrictions actually. So the only possible way to get into these countries are actually the first one is the migration for higher studies. You can take up a higher studies, you can pursue higher studies and parallelly you can look for a job and you can make your piping career over there. And the second possible way is the migration through on-site jobs. Say for an example, you work in an Indian company and they send you for on-site jobs. And after going through on-site jobs, you can find an another job in that location so that you can transfer from this company to another company. So these are the two possible ways for getting into Western countries. It is not as easy as going to Asian countries or Middle East countries. So this is one of the biggest constraints for going to Western countries. So I believe that this video has helped you to understand where all you can find a good piping opportunities and piping jobs where you can make a good fantastic piping career. Thank you for watching my video and thanks for your support. If you like this video, please give me a like and also share with your friends. I'll meet you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash. If you don't subscribe to my channel, please give me a subscription to motivate me. I'll see you in another fantastic video. Until then, bye from Subhash Chandran.